wake up this morning Make the mistake of turning on the TV Nothing but bad news, empty ever news Rolling on the screen, oh Walk to the kitchen And make myself a, a cup of coffee Wave at the older man, get in a suntan On his balcony, oh Yeah, we both have been stuck in our apartments for two months too long We don't even get along, but the world just fell apart uh, Straight out of the blue, so in my mind I whisper ciao And I take myself to Tuscany, Italy Riding on a Vespa in a sunflower field, yeah Warm wind blowing and birds are singing in cypress trees Tuscany, Italy Eating carbonara and reading Machiavelli While the world ends, that's where I will be Go back to my room I pick up the laptop to join a work call I don't think Karen knows that she's wearing her sweatshirt inside out oh, oh. Ooh, Crikey Good morning world, how... Good morning world Well that's a, that's a new intro, I don't think I've ever quite started a YouTube video with that but Good morning world Hay fever is taking over my soul this week Oh my god it's like a surprise each morning whether I'm going to be dying for the rest of the day or not. Is anyone else like that? Some days I'm absolutely fine and then other days I want to scratch my eyeballs out. Is anyone else just sit and contemplate life in the morning? I was thinking this morning when I was laying in bed like looking like an actual corpse. Does anyone else actually wake up in the morning and just feel like sprightly? Because I do not. Like when I wake up I feel like a dead person i look like a dead person and i just lay there just staring into nothing until i have a bit of coffee then i get going and then i'm all good anyway turn these lights on <laughs> let my eyes adjust they're just burning from the light i should just start this intro again because really i've just spent three minutes just talking about nothing good morning everyone how is everybody i hope you're all safe and well oh, it's so itchy <laughs> get a grip that's the last time i'm gonna moan about my hay fever today i'm just gonna get on with the day so it is currently tuesday the 9th of june it's 7 55 a.m and i just fancy vlogging today um i feel like we haven't done a vlog in a few weeks maybe so i thought i'm gonna pick up the camera and i'm a vlog oh talking so much shit this morning i was just think it is a little bit of a madness that we are still in lockdown though like, I was actually thinking about this last night and just thinking, like, <laughs> that was me, like, in March, whenever it started, thinking this will only go on for a month, it's alright everybody, stay positive, this will only go on for a month. And here we are, like, mid-June, and we're still in lockdown. I feel like it's so surreal, like, I try not to really think about it and just get on with my routine and just act very oblivious to what's going on. And then when I actually really think about it, I am like, wow, like, we're in fucking quarantine. So anyway, I am going to put some makeup on. I'm going to do my hair because I've just been feeling so haggard the past few days. I've looked like this for like the past four days. And you know when you just feel gross? I feel like that now. I feel like I just need something on my face. I really do feel like it makes such a difference even if you just do a little something to yourself in the morning um i found if i wake up and like look like this all day i feel like a slug like when i look like a sloth i feel like a sloth but then when i look like i've made a little bit of effort i actually feel more productive so i'm into a little routine at the moment where i do something to myself <laughs> every single day um whether that be just like doing my hair just putting some kind of makeup on or like even like a really nice skincare routine just something to kind of pick me up in the morning is really really helping at the moment there's just so much to do to me right now <laughs> right first let's take this bum out that's been in for about three days ow also i have had loads of questions about my hair recently and if i've got it done I haven't been to a hair salon, well, none are open, so I haven't been to one since, oh my god, I think it might be, I think it was about end of Feb, um, but I have got very, very light roots, so if you can see, 
you can see my root colour here, up to about here. When I actually get my hair done, we dye my roots a darker colour because I like to have like a really dark root. But luckily, because I have like, this is my natural colour here. You can see all of this. It's very ashy and very light. And that's why I never really look like I have roots. Um, and I also bought some of the Bleach London, um, it's like fake bleach. It's it's hard to explain it's like a really high lift tint and basically what I did was I didn't do this on a vlog I just did this on like a random Sunday but I did these front bits of my hair as you can see they're a little bit orangey here um, I did these front bits and then I also just picked a few random sections around here to almost look like I've had highlights because my hair was just looking a little bit dead and it really did make such a big difference and another thing as well, because I am naturally blonde, when I'm in the sun, my hair like lightens up anyway. So yeah, I haven't had my hair done. I, my roots are just like really, really light. You can kind of see it better here. So this is my root colour. And then this section here is where I used to get it dyed. So as you can see, there's darker bits here. So yeah, I do have roots. They are just well hidden. First things first, I need my curler. Oh God, which is in the depths of down here. Oh, does anyone else have like a really flipping tangled? Oh, for God's sake! The underneath of my dressing table stresses me out so much because it's just I let it get in such a mess where all of the wires just like this, and I can't find anything. I just want my color. Now to put it all back. Good. Okay, Al, there's an actual bird's nest in my hair. So with my hair, I'm just gonna run my wavers over it. Oh, for fuck's sake, they're not plugged in. <laughs> I don't wanna go back in the box of doom. Just a side note, there might be a lot of swearing in today's vlog. I'm just in one of those moods where, I just wanna swear. Um, so sorry about that. Just, I use it to express my anger, okay. So these are the Wicked Wavers from Mark Hill. I actually bought these, I'm gonna say about 10 years ago, it probably wasn't 10 years, but it was a long time ago. And these are perfect for if you just want your hair to have a little bit of texture. Like I don't want like curly Sue hair today. They said that's curly Sue, that's what you say, right? Anyway, I don't want like proper curly hair today. I just want my hair to be like a little bit wavy, a little bit textured. Um, so these are the best to use. Um, don't think you can get them on the Mark Hill website anymore, but I think you can get them from like Amazon. So I'll try and find a link. Um, and then I'm also going to pop in my new extensions from Foxy Locks. I actually bought these the other day because I wanted some hair extensions that were just the same length as my hair. Um, so my hair still looked like a natural length, but it looked a little bit thicker, if that makes sense. I actually had loads of compliments on my hair in my B&M video, so thank you guys for that. Um, but I was wearing these. These are, I think, 16 inch ones? I'm not entirely sure. Um, you guys know I work with Fox Locks every single month. This video isn't sponsored. I just bought those because I really wanted some that were the same length. Um, and they do gift me a lot of hair so yeah i just wanted to buy those um so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and do my hair i will pop you guys on a little time lapse because i don't want to bore you to death and i just might take a painting read every book then i'll learn to cook from videos and line oh yeah we all have been stuck in our apartments for two months too long we don't even get along but the world just fell apart uh, straight out of the blue so in my mind i whisper child and i take myself to tuscany italy riding on a vespa in a sunflower field yeah warm wind blowing and birds are singing in cypress trees tuscany pop my extensions in um every time i use those curlers i always run over my hair with a brush i just think it makes them a lot more softer and it kind of gives your hair like that blow dried kind of vibe um so yeah i also always curl the extensions out of my hair i never do it when they're actually in my hair i just find it really awkward to try and get to them 
Um, so that's my hair done. Really, really love the length of these extensions. I just think they look a lot more natural. As much as I love having really, really long extensions, sometimes it's nice to just have, I don't know, like I feel like a shorter hair, shorter hair, looks more fresh. Do you know what I mean? So, for makeup today, I'm not going to go with like a full face, full face, even though my natural makeup is pretty much full face. I just want to go for something light that just looks nice and fresh. So, first of all, to make myself look less haggard, I am going to be using this eye cream. This is amazing. This is the Ole Henriksen. I don't know if I said that right. I shall link everything I speak about below, as always. Um, love this eye cream. If you've got tired looking eyes or any dark circles, this is amazing. And the moisturiser I'm going to use today is one that I've been really, really, really loving recently. I got this in a glossy box, I think, a few months ago. Um, and it's kind of just been in my skincare cupboard and I thought, oh, I'm going to use that. So this is the Avant, I think that's how you say it. Um, and it's the Pro Intense illuminating day cream this is really really amazing and i put some on and i was like wow i really love this product went online to buy it and it was like 100 pounds and i was like maybe i'm not gonna buy that you just want to give your skin a little bit of a glow and you want it to be really really moisturized and not feel sticky as well because i hate that then this is a really beautiful cream so for eyebrows i'm going to be using the 24 hour brow setter this is a holy grail product to me fill them in a little bit with the nyx tame and frame pomade um just because they're looking a little bit sparse at the moment i haven't dyed them in ages as i'm doing my eyebrows i've been holding the mirror like here and i can smell like a really beautiful scent and i'm like why can i smell chocolate and i've realized i've got the Too faced um dark chocolate bronzer like this close to my face and this actually smells like chocolate it's been like, I've been just been sat here thinking, why can I smell chocolate? Why can I smell chocolate? It's because you've got chocolate bloody scented bronzer to your nose, Gemma. So, eyebrows done. For a kind of like, I'm not going to wear like a foundation, but I'm going to wear a tinted moisturiser. This is amazing. I bought this a few weeks ago and I've been absolutely loving it. Like, it's so nice. Um, and this is the Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturiser. I got it in the shade Malaga. A little bit dark for me so if you've kind of got the same skin tone as me maybe go a little bit lighter and then i'm going to use a tiny little bit of the radiant creamy concealer from nars this is in the what shade is this oh my god i'm actually blind Mar marron glaze i think that could be my eyesight um and i'm just going to use this under my eyes just to brighten them up a little bit because I am looking a little bit orange right about now. Then I'm just going to pop a little bit of bronzer on my face. This is the Primark bronzer, which I love. It's actually a foundation pressed powder in the shade Cinnamon. Kind of dead right now, but Primark, please we open so I can stock up. Because I don't know what I'd do without this. I really, really want to try the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. That looks unreal. Um, I don't know, I just get put off by the price a little bit. But I, I've never actually used Charlotte Tilbury. And I hear so many people rave about how good it is. So I might need to try that. And I'm also going to pop a little bit of blusher on today. I'm using the Smashbox Cali Kissed palette. And I'm going to use this shade just here. Which is called Crank It Up Cheeks. Lips, I'm going to use my favourite combo. Which is MAC um, Lip Liner in shade Spice. And then the MAC Lipstick in shade... What is this? Honey Love. This is really, really lovely and nude. But I find this on its own looks a little bit like foundation lips so if you line your lips with this one first it just gives them a little bit more definition i think it looks really nice together I'm not going for a full face of makeup today she says here she is with a full face of makeup so i got a little bit carried away i was just gonna put mascara on and then i thought do you know what let's just go full transformation you've looked like a hobbit for the past few days so treat yourself so i have got on favourite lashes ever which is the Amy Rose Cosmetics lashes in the, I was going to say shade then, the Style Lily. These are my favourite. I literally haven't worn any other lashes since I got these. Um, I bought two new pairs from Amy so I'm wearing one of the new pairs but these are just incredible. I can't get over how easy they are to put on. Um, I don't know, I just felt like I wanted a little bit something more today. Eyelashes... I always think like transform your whole face. They make me feel a lot more awake and put together. And yeah, it's nice to feel glam and not feel 
like Quasimodo today. It's nice. It feels good. Um, so yeah, love these lashes. I will link them below. Right, that's the last. That is the last time I'm gonna say I will link that below. Anything I ever speak about in vlogs will always be below because I drive myself nutty when I edit these videos because I have to keep editing out. I will link this below. I will link this below. I will link this below. Shut up. That's the last time I'm saying it. Okay, so plan for now is. I don't even know what time is it nine o'clock we got ready in record time today well we didn't because it took an hour but i was faffing a little bit today um plan for now is i have got a few pr parcels oh hello hello darling hello darling Aww. tilly is so cute come here she ran away she didn't want to cuddle so yeah gonna show you those um see where the day takes us but i'm gonna get dressed because <sighs> do i even need to get dressed yeah probably should i got dressed i decided it was the unlazy option but i am still wearing comfy clothes because if you wear jeans around the house i just i can't relate i only wear jeans when it's absolutely compulsory to be honest so today's outfit of the day is not very exciting at all to be honest um i've just got on a little black bodysuit from pretty little thing i've got loads of these because they're just really nice to have in the wardrobe when you kind of just want to throw a top on to be honest and then i've got these little earrings which i have been loving wearing recently i think they're really nice for just like a plain outfit just to add a little bit something more just think they're cute these are from asos i think and then i've also just got on these black high-waisted they've got a really thick waistband actually um joggers these are from lounge these are one of my favorite pairs of joggers this part here is almost like it's like a sculpting material so it sucks you in and i just think they're super flattering so before i forget i haven't really feel like i've updated you at all since i had my break in um I feel like it's because I haven't done a vlog since then. Like, I wouldn't just, like, drop it into a normal kind of B&M video. Um, so, yeah. I just wanted to kind of update you guys on what's happening with that. So, after that all happened, a few days later, I actually got an alarm system fitted and also CCTV cameras. So, I'm feeling a lot more safer in my home now. I feel like I've always been meaning to get cameras and get an alarm system. But I feel like it's one of them things... You kind of put to the back of your mind and then something happens like you get broken into and you're so annoyed at yourself that you didn't get them sooner. So I just want to say, please make sure you have something. An alarm or a camera could literally like save your house from being completely robbed. And yeah, if my neighbours hadn't have seen what happened, I have no idea what could have happened to Tilly or could have happened to my house. So... Yeah, it just gives me a bit of peace of mind now. Like, every time I go out, I set my alarm system. I have my cameras, which I can see on my phone. Um, and everything like that. It's just a bit of a peace of mind there. And I can't begin to explain how much better that makes me feel. A company called Fender Security actually came out and fitted my cameras and my alarm system. It was all done in a day. And it's so easy to use as well, which I was a little bit worried about because... I'm not the most technical person, um, but they showed me how to use it and made sure I was happy with everything. So yeah, if you are looking to get cameras done or to get an alarm system, then I will leave their website and a contact number in the description box below just in case you are interested. But I just wanted to show you just how like nice everything looks. I was a little bit me being me, worried kind of what the cameras would look like and the alarm system would look like because sometimes they're super ugly they're like those big like keypad things that are just they don't look good i'll show you the alarm system first so i have a few alarms um i'm not going to say exactly where they are just in case anyone else fancies robbing me um but this is one of them so this is what the alarm system looks like so you can get these in white and black i believe um but I just think it, like, doesn't look offensive. Sometimes they're really big. Like, you can barely even see it. And also, these are so bloody loud. And then, another little feature that I think actually looks really, really nice is the speaker for the alarm. So, when you set your alarm outside, you'll be able to hear this, like, setting itself, if that makes sense. 
Um, and this is the internal speaker. So if anyone was to break in, then the noise would come out of here. And there's also one on the front of the house as well. But I just think it kind of looks like a Sonos. Like, I think it looks really cute. I'm not going to go all technical on you because I am not the... Uh, sharpest tool in the box when it comes to technology that's why this system's so good actually because i can use it so basically i have a little fob on my car keys and every time you go out you just hit this button here and it alarms your entire house you also get an app with it as well so if you start driving off and you haven't set your alarms your app will actually flag that up and tell you that you haven't set your alarms really, really good it also has a panic button as well so if you're upstairs and you hear your you know patio door being broken like mine was or like you're in the bath or something because i thought this um if i was in and they did it like what the hell would i do but yeah really really handy to have and like i said it comes with an app as well which is really really good and then the cameras basically i've got three cameras all outside that cover every part of like the surrounding of my house so they cover the patio door the front door the road kind of leading up to my house and my driveway, which is brilliant. So the app is like this and you've got face ID on it, so only you can access it. And then the cameras are insane quality, like so good. And I'll show you, you can view them on your phone. So if you're not actually at home, like you're out and about, you can check what, what's going on. You can check who's on your drive, um, which is brilliant. Like. I am forever checking this because I am paranoid now. Um, but yeah, this is just helping me feel that little bit more safe. Um, and then also you can do playback on this. So if you wanted to check your cameras, what was going on at 10 a.m., um, you can go back and you can screen record it and take pictures of it. So yeah, I would really encourage anyone who doesn't have any security in their home to get something. Um, I never in a million years thought that it would happen to me. It's one of them things you hear about all the time. Like burglaries are so common. Sometimes I do think like imagine if my entire house was ransacked, Tilly was gone, like my entire house was trashed and all of my things were stolen and the people that did it weren't caught. Like that would just be the most unsettling feeling. And if you have cameras, that will never happen. If you have an alarm system, that will never happen. So yeah. I just thought that was important for me to mention that today. Just in case any of you don't have security and you're looking for something. The company that came and did it for me were amazing. So yeah, like I said, I will link them below. Um, I'm out of breath from talking. That's a new for me. Um, I feel like my motto of 2020 is I'm out of breath from walking down the stairs. Down the stairs, not even up, down. That's how unfit I am right now. Back upstairs we go this is my exercise for the day um so i also want to show you some pr bits that i've got that i haven't actually opened yet i've been saving them to be fair they only came yesterday so i haven't had to save them for that long um but i've been saving them because i wanted to kind of do them on the vlog because i thought that'd be cute let me pop you over here okay, the first thing which i got through the post was a new loungewear set from lounge um a new loungewear set from lounge that was a bit of a mouthful um i've already got this in like an ash gray color but i'm so happy i've now got it in the darker gray um this loungewear set is like i said earlier joggers and everything from lounge are just so flattering i think because they've got the super thick waistband they just look beautiful on um i got these in a size medium and i did try them on yesterday and they are a little bit big um so if you're kind of the same size as me then i would go for small but these are just incredible i'm kind of happy for the like not colder but the overcast right now as much as i like looking at hot weather i just miss my like cozy clothes always forever blown away whenever i receive any kind of pr or gifted items from brands because it's just i don't know it's just a little bit crazy like i will never ever get used to that um so something i actually got last week was this from Huda Beauty. Now these, I believe, are the new lip balms and you're just you're not even ready. They are bloody glittery, look. How insane are they? Oh my God, so pretty. Um, so these come in six different colors. 
there's some really pretty like pink colours here. Oh my god, I was so upset, right? I opened this pack and it must have got like, it was a really hot day when these got delivered actually. So my favourite shade must have melted because look, isn't that the most heartbreaking thing in the whole world? I couldn't believe it. I opened it and was like, no, no, please, please. Um, but such a cute little PR package. These are called the Diamond Balm, hence why it's in little diamond box. Parcel, which I believe is from Function of Beauty, which is brilliant because I always use their shampoos and I'm almost out. And oh my God, there's stickers. Do you know what, this is really weird. I've always wondered how people get the cute little pictures because I looked for an option on the website and I was like, how do people get those pictures and you get stickers? Oh my God, I'm so happy about this. Which one shall I use? So I went for anti-frizz, colour protection, fix split ends, lengthen and volumise. And then the scent I went for is peach. Oh my God. The last one was cherry and it was beautiful. Oh my God. Oh. It smells incredible. So these are both peach, but I just chose different colors because I thought orange and pink look cute together. Yay. And then they also sent me some more hair serum. I actually got this last time and I use this every single time I wash my hair. You know when you, I tend to leave mine to dry and it can sometimes just go super frizzy. Um, but using a tiny little bit of this oil, it just looks so silky. So I'm very excited to have a new one of these. Look how cute this looks. I'm just going to spend the rest of the day sticking stickers on my shampoo and conditioner. I love that. So excited to try that new scent. So I ordered some filter by Molly May fake tan. I haven't actually tried this and I meant to order it ages ago, but I didn't. So I've got my hands on the extra dark. If you'd like to see me, I don't know if you want to see me do a review of this. I feel like that's kind of like old now. Um, but if you would like me to test this out, I feel like I'm a little bit... I just spat everywhere. I hate it when I do that. Um, at least I'm on my own, kind of. <laughs> Didn't spit all over somebody. I do kind of consider myself the tanning connoisseur at this point in my life because I'm never without fake tan, so I'm excited to try this. Speaking of fake tan, um, in my last vlog, I spoke about the Bondi Sands um, Gradual Tanner. It's amazing, like, oh my gosh. You know when you put tan on, you go sleep, the next day you wash it off? I always use like a gradual tanner because I find it just, if you've got any streaks, it gets rid of them. And this is the color of a layer of the Bondi Sands Ultra Dark Aero Mousse and then a layer of the Bondi Sands Gradual Tanner. And I think it just goes really, really nice. Oh, this is a really cute little pack. And this is from a company called Fudge Professional. And I've got some toning shampoo, so some purple shampoo and some toning conditioner, which I was nearly out of again because I usually use the Matrix one. So I'm excited to see what this one's like. I'll let you guys know. I can literally smell these as soon as I get them out. They smell insane. I'm looking forward to using those. I'm actually looking forward to washing my hair. And that's something I never look forward to. Then in the pack, I've got a cute little note, which actually... Fudge Professional have actually given you guys a 20% off discount code. Um, so I'll put the code on screen now and I'll leave a link to the company in the description box below. Hey, she said it again, didn't she? And then I also got sent a selection of, you know the blue light glasses when you're looking at a screen or you're looking at um, a computer or something, it can really damage your eyes. I've got a little selection of blue light glasses, which Kantoro very kindly sent me. These are definitely my favorite ones. I also got these in like a tortoise shell. I also got, where are they? These clear ones, which I don't know if they suit me, um, but I really, really, I love seeing other people in them and I'm like, I wish I could pull those off. Um, but I think these are really, really cute if you don't want anything too sort of bold on your face. I think these are really nice. So I got four pairs of those all in different styles, which will come in really, really handy. Um, I need glasses anyway, but sometimes I find wearing my glasses gives me a headache. So I don't know if they're quite right for me or my eyes just need to adjust but yeah I'm on a computer or my phone screen 99.9% .9 of my life so 
these will save me from getting headaches which i seem to get daily at the moment so that'll really help me out um and then i've got a huge parcel here from my lovely friend on instagram who owns a company called the classy planners now if you love notebooks and to-do lists and planners as much as me you will absolutely adore the bits that i'm about to show you so i've got a huge box here like literally so heavy um filled with loads of different planners which i'm really excited about so disclaimer there was a lovely box of um white chocolate strawberry lindor truffles we all know they're my favorite and i i might have eaten them all um yeah so so i've got a few different types here um we have got a bucket list journal and it's in this beautiful like rose gold color then i've also got the classy journal i'm guessing this one let's have a look i'm guessing this one is just like a normal diary type thing yeah so this is like a plain notebook which i love i love having one of these to write down like my thoughts and just little general to-do lists and then the bucket list journal this one is do you know what i don't actually have a bucket list and i keep meaning to make one because i think it would just be a really cute thing especially to do right now because we're all in like quarantine i think it would be cute to make a bucket list of things we want to do when we get out yeah this looks really cute you've got like notes and photo section um and then a when where and who with a little bit at the bottom i feel like you could use this as a little bit of like a vision board and put things in there that you'd really love in your life i think that'd be a cute idea we've got a planner which is in a box i'm guessing this is the more like luxury planner um and then this is we've got time schedules i'm sold anything with like a daily time schedule i love so this one has got like broken down sections into days where you've got hourly um timings here and then you've got tasks here and then you've also got a little bit down the bottom of things i'm grateful for today this reminds me of the law of attraction planner which i absolutely love so that is amazing and then in here as well you get cute little stickers we know how i feel about the stickers which is so nice that really reminds me of the law of attraction one these would also make a really nice gift for someone as well i feel like one of the best gifts you can give is organization um and then we've got the classy journal in pink as well so that's the same as the blue one that i showed you and then oh my god cute we've got a little selection of these diamante pens so i might do a little giveaway with some of these because I've got two of each. So I think that would actually be really cute. And then, oh my God, amazing. I've also got a few little extra bits here. So I've got a little to-do sheet. Oh my God, love. This is a weekly planner. And again, we've got the times here, like little shopping list, daily meal planner. That is amazing. Well, this is just the way to my heart, really. She's only gone and done bloody colour coordination. I love a bit of colour cord. I'm really excited. I feel like I need to have like a day dedicated to organisation now. Um, that is so exciting. Wow. Then last but definitely not least, my girl Karina has sent me just a box of heaven as per. So I have finally got my hands on this, which I have wanted for so long. How incredible oh my god this is amazing i just want to show you guys close up how incredible is this and then this is the bag part and for the bag you've actually got three different sections so you've got like a big section here a little section here and then this like little coin purse which goes on the strap oh my god love i changed the strap on this as well so there are loads of different colors of these i think i'm going to get the khaki one as well because that one is really pretty on my third coffee of the day I've been so like sleepy this week. I don't know what's been wrong with me. I've been going to sleep at like nine and waking up at like nine like every single day. You know when your alarm goes off and it's like doomsday, you're like, I just can't. I don't know what's been wrong with me. I've been so tired. Um, so the plan now is I found this recipe, oh my god, I'm really excited to make this, to a it's like a lemon loaf, but it's healthy. And you have to make an apple sauce to go in it that's like the main ingredient so i don't have any cooking apples because i forgot to get some 
So I'm going to take a little drive to the shop, grab some cooking apples, and then it wouldn't be a vlog without a bit of bacon. Um, so yeah, we can make those, but I need to go to the shop first to get some cooking apples. So I'm not going to take you guys with me today purely because my tripod that I have to set up in my camera is just a bit of a nightmare. So I shall see you when I'm back with the apples. So I've just got back from the shop. Someone is very, very aware that I have just bought some of her favourite treats. Um, these are Tilly's all-time favourite treats. She goes nutty for them. She was absolutely, completely asleep until she heard this packet and now she'll pretend that she is my best friend rub around me just because she wants a treat don't you i know your game tilly till no one wants to see your backside do you want one of these i quite know what it is about this uh stick of chicken and liver but she is absolutely living for it wow wow you ate that in record time today pretty sure you didn't actually chew that hey greedy you're not having any more not having any more. I'm getting super broody and I really want to get Tilly a little brother. Cat, not baby. Definitely not a baby. Um, but yeah, I really just want a kitten. I want one so much. I'm a little bit nervous though how she will react with a kitten. She's either going to go one way or the other. She's going to either absolutely love it. And what I'm hoping for is her just like treating it as her own and then becoming best friends and she almost like mothers it but then it could go the complete opposite way and she could absolutely hate life disown me and become even more moody than she already is oh that's just Tilly scratching my chairs excuse me you know you are not allowed to scratch my chairs you have a whole scratch post in there no no don't oh don't rub against my finger because it makes me feel sorry for you. <laughs> anyway, I decided to go to Big Tesco. If you live in Peterborough, you will know about Big Tesco and you'll also know that it's Anxiety Central. I always avoid that shop just because, this sounds really ridiculous, but I find it very, like, exposed. And you always bump into people you just don't want to see in that shop. But I decided to go there today. And good bloody job because I got some Mr. Freeze. These are the best lollies ever. I forgot about their existence. I was down the baking aisle getting some poppy seeds and I saw these and was like, oh my God, I need to get these in the, I was about to say oven, <laughs> definitely not oven. I need to get these in the freezer like ASAP because I want one of these as soon as they're done. So what I'm gonna do is I downloaded actually M Sheldon's little eat with M um, like healthy baking little ebook and it's brilliant like I love the look of all of her food it's very me and I just thought I need that so it was £10 and I am going to make there's so many nice things on here but I am going to make today the lemon cake and it sounds really healthy so yeah I just thought that looked so nice but the main ingredient is actually applesauce. So instead of using like sugar and butter and stuff like that, the main ingredient is applesauce. Um, but you can make your own applesauce also. So that's why I went to Tesco's to pick up some cooking apples, which I got six of. Nearly hit me in the face. Um, so I'm going to make the applesauce. So all you need to do for the applesauce is... Peel six apples, place in a saucepan and cover with water. Add a few squeezes of lemon juice and some cinnamon. Um, and then you need to bring to the boil and then just leave it. I've made apple sauce before. So I'm going to crack on with that because that's going to be the main ingredient. I'll probably pop you guys on a time lapse for that because that's like pretty easy to make apple sauce. Also, before I forget, I made these yesterday. I really fancied like a baking day yesterday. So I made my white chocolate chip um, peanut butter cookies. These are so good. So many of you have made these and said how nice they are. Um, I'll leave the recipe for these below, but honestly, they are just so delicious. And then I also made the five ingredient cookies from deliciously Ella's recipe. These are basically just almond flour, almond milk and dates. And then I put some raisins and stuff in there as well, but they're so nice. Take 
quite proud of this you know so literally all i did was the sliced apple that you saw i left it just just boiling away for about um, half an hour and then i didn't even have to like crush any of this it kind of just happened i also thought this would be really really nice to keep in the fridge you could have it on oats you could have it with like a little fruit salad um you could keep some of this and have it on the cake pretty impressed with my apple sauce if i do say so myself even though it does look questionable so i'm gonna use a loaf tin in m's one she's used kind of a bit of a bigger tin um but i kind of want to make a loaf cake i'm not sure if it's gonna sort of turn out the same i should think it i should think it would maybe it just need a little bit longer in the oven but i'm just gonna grease this with the coconut fry light i always use this whenever i do baking um i like to use this instead of like butter or anything like that I'm excited because in this recipe everything's measured in cups which means I can use my cute cat cups I'm so happy about that I haven't really had a chance to use them yet because usually things are measured in like grams so first thing we need is half a cup of applesauce right what actually are these okay so this is one cup Okay, let me get my apple sauce. I'm going to do the dry ingredients first because otherwise all of the dry ingredients is going to stick to the apple sauce. So we need two cups of flour. So I picked up this organic spelt wholemeal flour from Tesco's. It says you can use any flour, but she said that she used spelt. So I thought I'm going to use what she used. So two cups of this, so two cat cups. Oh god. One cup of almond milk. So I've got some almond milk here. It's actually so much easier measuring in cups than it is grams. Don't know, I feel all American. I just love American bacon. I don't know why. American bacon just seems so much more magical than our bacon. I'm gonna make it my mission to do my road trip in America next year, 100%. Um, so next I need half a cup of applesauce. Is this half? Yep. Okay, so you don't actually need that much applesauce. Oh, I felt really bad because I had to put the cat's head in there then. That's really sad, isn't it? Brilliant. One teaspoon of honey, which I don't have, so I'm just going to use some of the Truvia. Um, this is the natural sweetener. I think it's made from like a leaf or something, but it's better than artificial sweetness. Pop that in there. We also need one large egg. Oh, one egg, and then we need half a cup of lemon juice. So I'll squeeze that into there at the moment. I've got some lemons. I'll do that in a second. Two teaspoons of poppy seeds, which I've got here. Love poppy seeds. Oh, it says cut. Poppy seeds in... Bloody hell. In that goes. And then... That's it. So, this is what the mixture looks like once I've kind of whizzed it with my whisk. It is a little bit runny, which I'm a little bit concerned about. Um, and then I've also just squeezed half a cup of lemon juice, which I'm going to add now. Um... Just from experience in the past, if the cake mixture looks a little bit runny, it can tend to not cook properly, but I mean, I've done everything right. So I'm not gonna add any more flour or anything. I'm just gonna kind of just hope for the best, to be honest. So I've just had a little taste test, but it's not lemony enough. Like I can't really taste the lemon and there's nothing worse than a lemon cake when it don't taste like lemon. So. I don't want to add any more juice to it because the mixture's already quite runny. So my mum taught me this actually. I'm just going to put like half of the zest of one lemon in. This really, really, really helps it just to be a little bit more zesty. Mm, zesty? I don't think I've said that before. I like it. Um, but yeah, don't put too much in because it can go really bitter. So I'm just going to really lightly just add a little bit of the zest. Oh, 
hopefully this is a little bit more lemony time to taste test again isn't the taste test always the best bit i love like raw cake batter mm. please cook please so it's all in the tin, ready to go in the oven. This needs to go in the oven for 40 minutes on 180. Um, it says after 30 minutes to check if it's done. So what I'll probably do, because it is quite runny, um, I'll probably leave it in until like it's cooked through. It might take longer than 40 minutes. Goodbye, little lemon cake. See you in 40 minutes. tell you a little fact when you cut your cuticle on the dishwasher then you get lemon juice in your cuticle it's it's not good my finger is in agony so whilst that is cooking i'm gonna have like a little tidy of the kitchen because it's a tip i'm like the messiest baker there's always just stuff everywhere what time even is it oh my god it's quarter to five I'm here like, what have I done with my day? To be fair, I've been editing this vlog as I've been filming it. Um, so that's where most of my day has gone. Every time I film a little bit of my vlog, I edit it then and there. I find it so much easier, like honestly. There's nothing worse than trying to piece together like a really long vlog. So I usually do it in sections. So I'll do like my intro and morning bit, then I'll edit that. Then I'll do like my next bit, edit that. And then I'll now edit this whilst this is cooking. And yeah, that's the easiest way I find to doing it. Follow me out down to the bay. Forget all the worries when you're with me. Let every way. this is it out the oven now it has shrunk a lot like it's a very skinny loaf cake but it looks good it smells good i have made some icing sugar so what i did was i just got normal icing sugar and then i um squeezed a lemon into it so this is like a lemon flavored icing sugar so i'm gonna pop this on the top whilst it's still a little bit warm so it can like melt I'm gonna have some grilled chicken with the peri peri medium Nando's marinade. Um, I'll do this on George Foreman grill just because it's quick and easy. I've been really craving like a really nice salad recently. I think it's because the weather's a little bit warmer. I love salads in the summer. So I'm gonna have like a tomato salad. So I've got some little tomatoes and some big ones. I'm gonna cut these up and then mix them with some garlic infused olive oil, a little bit of balsamic glaze, some basil, some rocket, and then some mozzarella on top. Yeah, if you did want this to be a little bit more filling, you could have a jacket potato with this, you could have some rice, um, but I'm just gonna have this on its own tonight. I just fancy something really, really fresh, and 
I don't know, colourful and healthy. So this is what I'm going to have tonight. a season four of 13 reasons why i had no idea about it you know when you get that kind of feeling of um i can't explain it it's like a really overwhelming feeling that you need to do something now i had that so my plan for this evening is i've got a little bit of editing to do because obviously this vlog is going live tomorrow so i like to try and get it all done tonight so tomorrow it can just be uploaded in case there's any problems and yeah, if something goes wrong on upload day, it's the most stressful thing in the whole world. So, my plan for this evening is I'm going to finish editing and then I'm going to settle down and start watching the new season, which I'm so excited about. Um, the only thing is, when I watched it last time, it did send me into a bit of a deep depression. I don't really know if I need that in my life right now. Um, as much as I love 13 Reasons, I do think you have to be in the right mood to watch it i think if you're feeling a little bit sad or a bit down in the dumps it's probably the worst program to watch i have had like a really good day today i feel really like i'm kind of extreme at the moment um i have days where i'm like absolutely fine don't really think about what's going on in my life and i'm happy and fine and then other days i'll have days where i'm just down in the dumps so yeah i'm just taking each day as it comes at the moment um if I wake up and I can feel myself having a bad day and I've tried to snap myself out of the mood, I will allow myself to have a bit of a bad day. Um, and yeah, I'll fill it with all the things that I love doing and I'm just taking it very easy at the moment, but it's been really nice vlogging today. I forget how much vlogging helps me. I feel like it gives me a purpose all day. I get to chat to you guys all day and it, it very much takes my mind off things that are going on um so yeah feeling good today um so i guess that's gonna go ahead and conclude the end of this vlog i really hope you've enjoyed it um i have got on sunday what video have i got oh my god a huge zara haul you guys know how i feel about zara like usually zara for me is very hit and miss but oh my god the things that i have to show you are incredible so that is sunday's video um as always if there's anything you would like to see just let me know in the comments box below um if you'd like me to do any other vlogs what you'd like me to do just let me know i'm kind of hoping like lockdown will be even more lifted next time i vlog so i can hopefully take you into some shops um or we can go somewhere won't be in the four walls of my house there's tilly in her little bed so yeah that is going to go ahead and end today's vlog. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you all just for everything as always. And thank you for all your kind words on my life update video. That really does mean the world to me. Um, also, in regards to that life update video, as you guys know, I am donating all of the AdSense money generated from that video to the George Floyd Memorial. Um, so far, we've raised about $500. Um, I won't know exactly how much we've raised on that video until I get paid which won't be till the end of July um because it's backdated on YouTube so at the end of July I shall let you know how much exactly we got but yeah if you haven't seen that video then I will pop it on screen somewhere and I really really hope you guys have enjoyed this video and yeah I hope you guys are having a great week I love you all so much and I shall see you on Sunday's video bye you have to fan and when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working but there's something inside of you that says i just have to follow that because you don't know who you